Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to talk about beginning to observe the biblical commands. Three steps in starting to observe the biblical law. So we've realized in our pursuit of wondering, what is it exactly that God wants of me? What is it that he wants us to be doing? How is it that he wants us to serve him? We've realized that according to Deuteronomy 12:28. What is good and right in his sight are the biblical commands, the commands that he gave through Moses, also known as the written Torah. And we also have recognized that according to Deuteronomy 4.2 and 12.32, that these commands are not supposed to be added to or taken away from. So therefore, we recognize that indeed, these are the commands that we are to be following these commands given through Moses in the written law, in the biblical law. And so in pursuing that, in seeking to change our lifestyle in accordance with that, we may not even really know where to start. Indeed, we are probably already familiar with many of the commands. We know, don't murder, don't steal, don't commit adultery. We're already familiar with many of the commands. However, there, of course, is more to learn. There is more to do, and there is more that we need to make sure that we are putting into practice. But where do we start? There are three steps that I'm going to suggest for us. First, we need to make sure that we are following the command of the Sabbath. Second, we need to get rid of graven images of gods and cast images of gods. And third, we need to set in place the necessary steps to make sure we continue to learn the law and we continue to, imply, continue to apply that knowledge as we gain it. So first, in regard to observing the Sabbath. Observing the Sabbath is not about having it as a church day or anything like that. The word Sabbath actually comes from the Hebrew word Shabbat, which literally means to cease. We are supposed to cease from our work on the day of the Sabbath. That is the Sabbath command. We are to make sure that we cease from our work. If we have an employer, we need to make sure that we have the necessary arrangements with them to ensure that we are off on the Sabbath and that we are not working on the Sabbath. This is something important that we need to make sure that we do. Now, the employer may or may not be very accommodating in this regard. They may try to pressure you into continuing to work on the Sabbath, if that's what you were in the practice of doing before. But the thing is, according to U.S. employment law, if you were in the United States, of course, most companies are required to allow you to take the Sabbath off. I talk about this in much more detail in a video in the description below. I talk about the specifics of the U.S. employment law and what companies it applies to. But in most cases, even if they try to pressure you, even if they try to tell you that they don't want to do it, a lot of times they will end up allowing you to do it once you make it clear that you are standing firm in your observance and that this is a religious issue. Now, even if we don't like the term religious, I recommend that you use it in this context because it has a certain legal implication. Once again, check the video below for more details on this issue, but we need to make sure that we have the necessary arrangements, whether it is with an employer or with ourselves, to ensure that we have the Sabbath off, that we are ceasing from work on the day of the Sabbath. The second thing I'm going to suggest is that we get rid of graven images and cast images. We need to search our homes and our possessions to make sure that we get rid of images of gods, graven images and cast images. Now I have a playlist also in the description below where I talk about a few examples of this. But essentially, a lot of things that are just considered art, that are representations of maybe suns with faces, sun images and moon images with faces, and also there are some popular New York related artwork that do contain images of gods in them. And so we need to be aware of that. We need to be aware of these graven images and these cast images. 
I talk about certain US quarters in the video below. There are essentially three questionable US quarters that we need to be aware of and make sure that we are getting rid of, make sure we're not bringing them in. So check those out. They have images of gods on them. And these graven images, of course, are a problem. Now, graven images and cast images are implied to be a problem beyond just the fact of worshiping them. Just owning them, desiring the silver and gold, as it's put in Deuteronomy 7, 25 through 26, and bringing it into our household as a result, can result in a curse upon the household. Obviously, we don't want that. So we need to make sure that we clear out our house, clear out our possessions, and make sure that more graven images and cast images of gods are not being brought in. Of course, if you have any questions about any articles that you own, do your due research, do your diligence to make sure of what that actually is, and I would suggest err on the side of caution as appropriate. And the third point is that we need to make necessary plans to ensure that we continue to learn the law. We need to make sure that we are learning the law from the written law. Anyone we talk to, any teachers that we listen to, I highly suggest that we check anything they say against the actual text of the law. We need to make sure that we are learning the law correctly. We need to make sure we are learning the law and not, for example, rabbinic Jewish traditions, which oftentimes are not the law. We need to make sure we are learning the actual commandments. One way that I might suggest doing this is incorporating a daily reading plan of the law. Now, so you can start in the book of Exodus. You can start in Exodus 12 was when the commands start to be given in Exodus. You can begin there and you can continue reading all the way to Deuteronomy 34, for example. I highly recommend that this be done on a daily basis, that we are reading from the law on a daily basis. This will make sure that it becomes a habit. It will make sure that it gets done eventually. If we put it off, or if we just skip around and don't read in sequence, then we may end up skipping passages. We may not even realize that certain commands exist, for example. We may go on years, and then eventually we get around to reading part of the law, and then we realize, oh, I guess I missed that. So in addition to any specific subjects we're researching, I suggest that we look through and read through a sequential reading. So Exodus 12, Exodus 13, 14, and so on, to make sure that we are catching it all. And also make sure that anything that you are reading, that you're continuing to incorporate into your lifestyle, a lot of people will allow themselves to stop at some point and be satisfied with where they have changed, and then they don't want to change anymore. And then excuses come up, and they just insist that what they're doing is okay. We need to realize that right now we are motivated. Right now we have a level of awareness that we may not have later. So that's why we need to implement a habit, a regular reading of the text. I recommend every day that we're reading it. Probably in the morning we can get at least one or two chapters in. Everyone has the time to read one chapter even if it means getting up earlier. And I would recommend at the beginning that we read of course, more than just one because it'll take us six months to get through the law if we're only reading one a day. But easily we could work in two or three probably. So do what works for you. Figure out a specific plan for how you're going to continue your education, continue learning the commandments. And also I have another resource for us that could be helpful. I have a topical concordance, and you can find it in the description below once again, wherein I index a list of verse references of the commandments according to their subject matter. And I recommend that you make sure that you are studying apart from this once again, and make sure that you really thoroughly investigate the text on this issue. I don't claim this uh, topical concordance to be perfect or anything. I don't claim that it is without bias either, but I think it could be a helpful tool, especially when you're starting, especially when you're getting acquainted with the law. And that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we are learning the law. So the three steps that I suggest, 
we need to make sure that we are ceasing from work on the Sabbath. And we need to get rid of graven images and cast images of gods and not bring more in. And we also need to make sure that we put in place plans to ensure we continue learning the law. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out my other videos wherein we talk about specific commands. And be sure that you stay in touch so we can continue this discussion. Thanks for watching. Remember the commands. Peace.